Okay, so fortunately, uh, teenagers who may be experiencing some mental health difficulties uh, do have a lot of places that they can go. Uh, first and foremost, they should speak to their parents and let them know that they think they're experiencing um, some mood issues, uh, anxiety, those kinds of things. Um, and parents can always take you to your family doctor because these are medical issues and your doctor can diagnose uh, these issues and help support you with that. Within the school, we have a youth counselor and a social worker who deal with students with mental um, illness. And they help us as um, student services and as your, your teachers uh, learn the best ways that we can support you when you are struggling with some mental health issues to keep up with your schoolwork and just generally manage your life at school better. Um, within the community, there are many agencies that provide uh, support and counseling services that we can refer you to as well as, as, as a school. So first step, speak to your parents. Second step, speak to someone at school, such as a um, guidance counselor, or myself, student uh, success, or the youth counselor, and we will help you navigate the system to get better as quickly as possible. I first started suffering from uh, clinical depression in the fall of grade 11. Uh, it eventually manifested itself to, where, to the point where I was, uh, was self-harming every day. I couldn't escape. I was hospitalized in, uh, in St. Catherine's General for uh, four days before they, uh, the people there, they got me in a room in Master's uh, Pediatric Mental Health Ward uh, called 3D. I spent two weeks there. And uh, it, it really, really helps me realize that there's, there's never anything so bad that you should, uh, you should end your life. Well, I think, yes, that there is a stigma. Um, and I think a lot of that comes out of um, the school systems because like the special ed programs and things like that um because you like right from the beginning for example like my little brother he has autism and he's separated right from the beginning he has um, an education assistant in class and things like that and and it's hard because they're needed they're necessities but at the same time you're creating that stigma and you're creating that kind of um uh diversity between like um, somebody who's say normal and somebody who has a mental illness so yeah I do think that stigma exists and I think even so when you get to high school and um, it's more mental illness like depression and anxieties and things like that that become more prevalent um, not so much a stigma more as an include it becomes more of an inclusive environment as you get older but I still th I still think it's there um, I was first diagnosed with depression in grade 9 um, I went in uh, to McMaster, um, sent to McMaster Hospital um, for attempted suicide. Um, and McMaster was all right. Um, first, I spent a week uh, in the general hospital here in St. Catharines before it was torn down. Um, and then I was at McMaster for a week. And then when I got back, um, they set me up with uh, some of the mental health services that Niagara has to offer, like Pasto Niagara, uh, which is meant for um, kids 18 and younger who uh, have dealt with self-harm and depression. Um, and uh, I've been seeing a counselor there for the last three years, and uh, overall it really has helped a lot. It's not something you, that you should be hiding from anyone. I mean, it's, it'll be hard, but once you tell them, things will get better. And you won't regret talking to someone. Don't, don't wait. Just talk to someone, tell them how you're feeling. I guarantee you that they'll set you up with someone that you need to see.